Nowadays, technology has reached such heights when truly incredible construction projects have become available to a man. Many of them are striking in their scope, creative approach to implementation, and original vision of the future. Are you curious about the new capital of Egypt, the breathtaking Funha Menhua Viaduct, and the dam of the Great Ethiopian Renaissance? Then sit back and get ready to see some of the most incredible mega constructions of our time. You're on Innovative Techs, and we're getting started. New Capital of Egypt To many people, an idea of moving the capital of Egypt seems crazy. Thus, we must admit that the courage of this venture is really close to insanity. The $45 billion project involves the construction of an underdeveloped area near Cairo, with a total area of more than 7,534 square kilometers. Solar farms alone will occupy an area of 90 square kilometers. Main state institutions of the country will move to a new capital, and the city itself will be divided into several parts. The construction of administrative, residential, innovative, and cultural areas is envisaged. One of the main features of the mega project is its unusual approach to development. Public space will become the basis of the districts. Around it, shopping centers, educational institutions, offices, and religious buildings will be harmoniously located. According to the architects, this development method will significantly improve the transport accessibility within the new capital. The speed of construction of Egyptian Dubai is really impressive, but there are also obvious issues. The most important of them is delivery of fresh water. Since the city is being built far from the Nile, water will be extracted from the Red Sea, which will require the construction of complex desalination facilities. Dam of the Great Ethiopian Renaissance If there is a mega project worth the title of Construction of the Century, it is the Hidas HPP. The colossal hydroelectric power plant is located on the Blue Nile in Ethiopia. The country's leadership has high hopes for the Great Renaissance Dam as it was named back home. The design capacity of the largest African hydroelectric power station should be 6.45 gigawatts. For comparison, only 2 gigawatts are currently being produced throughout Ethiopia. The total volume of the reservoir, which should ensure the operation of the power plant, is also impressive, as it is about 78 cubic kilometers. A mega dam is at the final stage of construction. The size of the project is striking to its scale. It causes both the envy of neighbors and a natural concern. To completely fill the reservoir, Ethiopia will be taking water from the main freshwater source of Egypt and Sudan for several years. However, the economic benefits and climatic changes that will occur in the region after commissioning of the Great Renaissance Dam are worth the political risks, the country's leadership said, and it's hard to object to that. Hotel Lucille Marina Iconic How to give a warm welcome to guests at the upcoming FIFA World Cup? Qatar believes that the architectural miracle of the five-star Lucille Marina iconic hotel suits this task best. The main feature of this project is its look resembling two crossed sabers, and thus forming a crescent moon. This symbol can be seen on the coat of arms of the eastern state. The luxury hotel is being built 10 miles from the center of Doha, the capital of Qatar, and concurrently the largest city in this country. Dimensions of the Lucille Marina iconic are truly amazing. The hotel is designed for 250,000 people. In addition, the building will house offices, huge entertainment centers, shops, expensive restaurants, and other benefits of civilization. According to representatives of the construction company, this mega project features a proper city within the capital of Qatar and should become its diamond heart. In total, Lucille Marina Iconic will be divided into 800 different parts that will differ in their purpose and design features. Steel Cofferdam Next, our release will feature not a building, but by an extremely complex technology for erecting the bridge's supports. To be more precise, it's a giant waterproof chest that allows erecting load-bearing structures right in the middle of the sea. This design was named Cofferdam, and implementation of such projects can compete with any megastructure. The technology features the creation of a huge waterproof frame that completely isolates the working area in the middle of the reservoir. It is just as difficult to build such a structure as to deliver it to the construction site. In some cases, engineers have to transport the frame piece by piece, making something like a giant construction set. 
First of all, special piles are driven in at the construction site of the cofferdam. Further, the structure itself is installed on the bottom, either by assembling it in parts or by delivering a one-piece frame on a huge raft. Installation of such a monster is fraught with enormous difficulties. Before installation, engineers conduct complex analyses of soil, climatic conditions, and even temperature fluctuations. Any mistake can lead to its destruction and tragic consequences for the hundreds of people working inside the cofferdam. The Funhe Menhua Viaduct The largest railway viaduct in the world, Funhe Menhua, completes the honorable list of modern megaprojects. Its length is 26,246 feet, while some of the pillars reach 243 feet in height. Moreover, 96 of them exceed 164 feet. A total number of supports is an astonishing 216 pieces. To hold the 1,000-ton foundation structures, the piles are driven to a depth of 298 feet. The exterior of the project provides a clear indication of why the Chinese are considered to be some of the best builders in the world. According to local residents, a new engineering marvel resembles a writhing dragon. The Funhe Menwa Viaduct became part of the longest freight railroad track in the world. The total length of the route is 1,129 miles and connects China with southern Mongolia. Up to 20,000 ton trains run along this line, including the viaduct section. A new route will annually handle 200 million tons of cargo. This will mainly include the transportation of coal. Engineers and builders continue to prove that modern technologies enable implementing the incredible, in their complexity, mega projects. Which one do you think is the most outstanding?